All right, guys, Supreme Calm here. So it's uh, time for some Tuesday night breakdown. So let's let's kind of see what's going on here. So we got the welfare lock-in, obviously. So, all right, someone was using my unit, okay. Um, let's quickly go to the event tab. We got the welfare, obviously, the Geminis unit one. And then we get ourselves some more parts for alteration. So we obviously do have the Jagan Blast Master. And then we got a whole bunch of alteration. We got Shin Rusa Gundam, uh, Gundam F90 S type, Scramble Gundam, Argega. Uh, what what unit is that? What what unit is? That? I I don't know. And then we have a Blue Destiny Unit Two. All right. I thought Blue Destiny Two, the Unit Two version, has the alteration already. So okay, let's let me let me take a look at the J universe. Uh, okay, yeah. Obviously, this one would not have the big scale property because this one is the first time being you know you know in game right so yeah we we do have a lot of exq so let's see what's going on um i'll definitely do some stack comparison afterwards so oh, what ace exclusive i guess uh we got a hyper or just the high mega cannon debuffing huh hmm interesting quite interesting there all right we got this one is a literally like strike freedom all right uh this one is a melee deep up the other one is shot deep up all right hmm wow <laughs> okay i'm, I'm, I'm kind of looking at the stat distribution over here okay physical yeah physical mode this one is gonna be hot all right all right oh just don't need a torso oh wow Okay, let's okay. Um, uh, this one we got the anti ship beam cannon. Okay, and then what what do we have here? What do we have here? Wow, stat is kind of um, it's kind of whatever I would say at the moment. Sixty four percent. Is that good enough? Sixty four percent max out. What? And 55, huh? Sheesh. I don't think anything is going to survive. Nothing will survive that. Okay, instant down. That's 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 good. Shot EXQ. We would uh, love that. All right. Mm. So high firepower, ace exclusive, and then heavy armor. So that's what they went for, huh? Hmm. What about, what about this? What about this? Okay, heavy armor. All right, buff squad buff. Hello. <laughs> so I, I'm seeing Phoenicia Labrita is almost getting power crap. In a sense, this one is a lot more easy to fulfill. Heavy armor is actually boosting shot attack. So this one might be cooking. If, if we. Look, if we have another shield part that gives a generic, I don't know, like give or take 40% buff and then like another 50% damage trait, oh yeah. Phoenicia Liberta will get replaced instantly. So yeah, stay stay tuned for that. Uh, I, I would definitely say in the near future, like within the next two to three months, we might get that. We might get to the point, but I don't know. That's just kind of me just kind of ballparking where we might be, but man. Oh, man, I, I remember how much I spent to get financial Labrissa back part and the shield and to see that it is it is getting there, right? It's, it's, it's kind of sad. Okay, um, another kind of like a all-round like EXK crew down for the rifle or the ranged weapon specifically. So that's good. Um, I when Whenever they do like an attribute, it's, it's always kind of like it hurts me because like, oh, I gotta do like huge investment to every typing, but this one is good. Uh, I, I think to a specific war tag isn't too bad in general. So I'll take that, I'll take that. Um, other than that, we do have these alterations. So I think I might actually start things up by doing the welfare once again. Then working my way towards the um, the standard stuff just because I do have to alter them and it, it just kind of takes time to alter them. While the uh, welfares, I do have the max already. So they're good to go for me to review. Take a look at the EX skills and whatnot. So scramble, I do want to quickly take a look because um, it was busted originally. So I just want to see what kind of improvement they have done. Um, and so pretty much they did not increase the power modifier because it's already busted. Like the B plus on this one, 
is not the same as any of the other B powered or B plus powered EX skill because this one hits like a truck. All right, so this one is scaled way out of proportion than any other EX skill, especially beam type, like the one that shoots like a beam, whatever. So this one is scaled completely off the chart. Um, still the same thing, but the only thing that they have added is the 33% all shot uh, skill. So it's it's uh, not to everything, it's just two shots. So do be cautious on that one. It's not for every everything, but um, I don't see this one being too liable or too viable in a sense. Because Rampage itself, you are able to instantly one-shot anything. Uh, with the exception of Reflecia, the multi-mission boss, I don't count that one because you can't run beam against that one anyway. So this one will not really work, but um, any other content, you are one-shotting already. So I don't see this one being, it's, it's good, right? It, it's good to have that um, where when you, like even any multi-mission that has multiple phases, like the big exam, you can't clear in one go. Oh, you actually can. I'll take that back. You actually can. Um, so the only boss you can take it out in one single blow is the uh, Reflection, which the second phase is immune to beam, pretty much. Or if you're talking about, let's say, Satan, the Satan Gundam one, that one is a little bit iffy because you're not using shot. It's kind of like a huge disadvantage after after you get hit with the purple aura what whatnot. So it's good to have it. Um, I think it's a huge step up but just the power modifier, if they would've made this one a, a minus or whatever, it would be busted. But as always, I don't think this weapon three right here, this EXC will not be anything too competitive in let's say arena specifically, just because in terms of the timer you finish, it's good to be roughly about, um, I think four minutes and 56 seconds. So it's uh, not gonna be fast, right? Um, and then another note to make about this one, it's really hard to get in the full damage marker take because this one, I believe it hits for more than what you can actually output in like a normal content. Uh, I can make it hit a lot and let's say a stage it, like 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 a, um, like I, I'll stage something that will work. I, I can get in the full damage market take, but any other content you'll probably get at most three to, uh, I think two to three ticks in total. Um, that is including three beams. So in totality, you should be getting nine damage markers, six to nine damage marker, and that's pretty much it. Um, on op hands, you will be able to get up to 12, presumably, if your build isn't strong enough, right? Um, but yeah, I, I think I might actually put this one onto my shooting base build just to abuse it just a little bit because we are getting this. So I can kind of see what kind of shooting base EX skill I can use to kind of cheese it. So it should be fun. I, I think overall should be fun, right? Uh, but other than that, I don't think there's anything that's honorable mention at the moment. It's a pretty much going to be analyzing, oh, what is good up to alteration and etc. And uh, obviously, we do have the banner. I like looking at all those EX skills and stuff. Like I feel like they're just the generic, you know, non cinematic, you know, beam attacking the enemy. So I, I don't know. Because me heading towards this, like this banner, first of all, I'm not really the big fan of the overall design of the Jagan Blastmaster anyway. Um, and then the EX skill isn't, they don't look flashy to me. I, I feel because I, I'm seeing the names, I'm seeing like the head part, torso, they look like double Zeta and then strike freedom. So I, I don't know, right? I, I just don't know, but we'll, we'll definitely do some summoning. Um, we'll, we'll definitely do some summoning after this. So you guys will see it probably in a few hours and, and, and whatnot. But uh, let me just quickly go over to the other items. Um, I just wanna see what else they added. Um, this one, Geminis will probably go over it sometime soon in the next two weeks here. Um, just some, you know, your standards up. So number 11 or 110. Uh, so high new, oh, high new, wow. These two have gotten new versions of them already. And, not that they're bad. I think if you do want to get them specifically for the, you know, for the aesthetics to go for it, I'm stopping you. Uh, but they're they're updated for sure, for sure. Uh, so these are the standard. All right. Uh, what else? Oh wow! Oh, build project time. A eh? okay. Another. Gotta go over this again. <laughs> Burning Gundam. Yeah. So that's cool. That's cool. Um, you guys might see me abuse 
this one again, like next week when we, when we have the boss multi mission, um, I think I'm just gonna do like a quick short, like the YouTube short, just to kind of abuse how many how much damage I can do. Um, I have used this EXQ on a numerous occasion where I'm setting you know new damage record or whatnot. So I think I might actually do it once again with the uh, with the GNL buddies um, because they 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 have some of the best buffing uh, squad like. Three, like three buddies I know, like, you know, obviously there's more. Um, they have some really amazing buff builds and whatnot. So they, they are, I'm pretty sure last time we did 1 billion. So we will see if we can break that because I think my melee build right now is uh, pretty good. So we, we're going to challenge that once again. So stay tuned, um, probably, you know, next week when we have the multi mission, right? The, the boss multi mission. I'm not going to do it in like a friend battle at some point. I mean, I can, right? Uh, but yeah, I'll do a review on this one for sure. And then Cessna FCA, which version is he? He is the innovator type. So this one I think is from the actual still the second season, All right? Not not the movie version. So uh, I'll talk about him more once I do like the full breakdown or just the review for the build project. But man, twelve already? That's crazy. And this one, obviously, we do have some returning one. We have the uh, shielding right there. Um, yeah, so I have done a review on that one already. So you guys can check that out now if you want to see how good he is and whatnot. And I think that's it. That's that's pretty much for now. Um, just, yeah. Just got to take a look into those new alterations. I think that should be fun. Oh, lightning strike. Let's go. So this one's getting at it. So I might... I don't know, maybe I grab a few pieces here and there. I do have some tickets I can use. Uh, but yeah, as always, that's going to be pretty much it. So I did want a little bit longer. I guess I do want to get my feelings out or, you know, just express how I feel about those alterations, especially Rampage and then, you know, the Jagan Blastmaster, you know. But um, other than that, that's it for me for now. And then I'll be catching you guys a few hours of the summoning video.